Welcome to Optimal Wellness Channel. Ever wonder why the doctor insists you finish your antibiotics, even if you're feeling better? When it comes to medications, there's a common misconception that if you're feeling better, you can just stop taking them. This notion is particularly prevalent with antibiotics and over-the-counter or OTC medications. But let's pull back the curtain on this, shall we? Antibiotics are designed to combat bacteria, not your symptoms. Stopping your antibiotics early can give the strongest bacteria a free pass to multiply and return stronger than before. This is how antibiotic resistance develops, a global health concern that's like a ticking time bomb. Then there are the OTC medications. These are handy, aren't they? No need for a prescription, just pop into a pharmacy, pick up what you need, and you're good to go. But here's the catch. Just because they are readily available doesn't mean they are harmless. Overuse or misuse of these medications can lead to a host of problems, from organ damage to addiction. Often people use OTC meds to mask symptoms for prolonged periods, instead of seeking medical advice. Imagine having a faulty car engine and instead of taking it to a mechanic, you just keep turning up the radio to drown out the noise. Not the best strategy, right? The same goes for your body. Masking symptoms without addressing the root cause can lead to more serious health issues down the line. Also, it's not uncommon for individuals to mix and match OTC meds without understanding the potential interactions. This is like mixing random ingredients in a cooking pot and hoping for a gourmet meal. Chances are, you just end up with a stomach ache. In essence, medications are tools designed to help us, but like any tool, they need to be used correctly. Misuse can turn these helpers into hazards. So the next time you're tempted to stop your antibiotics early or reach for that OTC med without proper advice, remember this. Medications are not candy. They should be taken seriously and responsibly. Medication misuse isn't a harmless act, it can lead to serious consequences. Picture this. You're at a party and instead of popping a champagne cork, you're popping antibiotic pills like they're party favors. Sounds absurd, right? But when you misuse antibiotics, that's essentially the party you're throwing for bacteria, a resistance-building bonanza. When you don't complete an antibiotic course, you're not wiping out the infection completely. The toughest bacteria survive and multiply, passing on their resistance to future generations. It's like a bacteria boot camp, and you're the drill sergeant toughening them up. The result? Superbugs. And no, they're not the latest Marvel superheroes, they're antibiotic-resistant bacteria that can turn a simple infection into a potential death sentence. But antibiotics aren't the only medications being misused. Over-the-counter or OTC meds are often seen as harmless since you don't need a prescription. But don't let their easy accessibility fool you. Prolonged or excessive use of OTC meds can lead to a Pandora's box of health risks. For instance, if you're chugging down sleep aids like a nightcap, you might find yourself wrestling with dependency issues or dealing with impaired cognitive function. If you're popping painkillers like they're candy, you could be setting yourself up for stomach ulcers, liver damage, or even heart problems. And those are just the cherries on top of the sundae of potential health issues. Remember, medications are not like your favorite Netflix show. You can't just skip to the end because you're impatient. They need to be taken as prescribed, in the right dosage, for the right duration. Medication misuse is like playing with fire. You're bound to get burned. So let's extinguish this dangerous trend. In our next scene, we'll explore the importance of proper medication use. Because when it comes to your health, you don't want to be the one playing the villain. So stay tuned and let's ensure we're all heroes in our health journey. So, how can we ensure we're using medications properly and responsibly? Just like a culinary recipe, every medication comes with specific instructions. Ignoring these directions is similar to baking a cake without following the recipe. You may end up with something, but it's not going to be the delicious treat you are hoping for. When it comes to medication, it's essential to follow doctor's instructions to the letter. Doctors spend years studying how medications work, and when they prescribe a course of treatment, it's designed to provide the maximum benefit with the minimum risk. Take antibiotics, for instance. If you stop taking them as soon as you start feeling better, you're essentially giving the remaining bacteria a free pass. These survivors can multiply and come back stronger, making your infection harder to treat. It's like leaving a job half done. Over-the-counter meds, or OTCs, are another area where proper use is vital. Just because you can buy them without a prescription doesn't mean they're harmless. Always use them as directed on the package. Overuse can lead to serious health issues, and misuse can make your condition worse. It's like using a hammer when you need a screwdriver. Sure, you might get the screw in, but you'll probably damage the wood in the process. 
Pharmacists are another great resource for medication advice. They're like the librarians of the medicine world. They can provide information about side effects, interactions with other drugs, and proper dosage. They can answer questions about your medications that you might not have thought to ask your doctor. Following these steps ensures that you use medication responsibly, maximizing its benefits while minimizing potential harm. Just like following a recipe can lead to a delicious cake, following your doctor's instructions can lead to better health. Remember when it comes to medication, more is not always better. It's about using the right tool for the job, in the right way, at the right time. Now that we understand the importance of proper medication use, how can we make sure we're doing it right? The first and perhaps the most straightforward tip is setting reminders. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to forget to take our medications on time. To combat this, we can use technology to our advantage. Many of us have smartphones, and they come with a myriad of apps designed to remind us to take our medications. Not a tech-savvy person? No worries. The good old-fashioned method of setting alarms or marking calendars works just as well. Next, we need to talk about storing medications properly. It's not just a matter of convenience, it's a matter of safety and efficacy. You see, medications are like Goldilocks. They don't like it too hot or too cold, but just right. Most medications should be stored at room temperature, away from moisture and direct sunlight. And contrary to popular belief, the bathroom medicine cabinet isn't the best place to store them due to the humidity from showers. A cool, dry place like a bedroom drawer or a kitchen cabinet, away from the stove, sink, and any hot appliances, is often a good choice. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, regular reviews of your medications with a healthcare provider are essential. This helps to ensure that you're taking the right medication, at the right dose, at the right time. It also provides an opportunity to check for any potential drug interactions and to discuss any side effects you may be experiencing. Remember, no question is too silly or trivial when it comes to your health. And there you have it, folks. Three simple yet effective tips to ensure proper medication use. It may seem like a lot to take in, but taking these steps can make a significant difference in your health and well-being. Because as we've discussed, it's not just about taking your meds, it's about taking them right. So, are you ready to become a responsible medication user? It's time we all step up and take control of our health, not by misusing medication, but by using it responsibly. We've delved into the secrets behind the pills, especially antibiotics, and we've seen how misuse can lead to dire consequences. Remember, every pill you take is like a tiny promise to your body, a promise that you're doing what's best for it, so don't break that promise by self-prescribing or skipping doses. Please like and subscribe to Optimal Wellness Channel for more accurate health information. We've also seen how important it is to follow the prescribed directions, to the letter. Your medication is not a piece of abstract art where interpretation is key, no, it's more like a precise science experiment where accuracy is everything. So, let's not play Picasso with our pills, alright? And remember, there are no stupid questions when it comes to your health. If you're unsure about anything, reach out to a healthcare professional. They're the real superheroes in this story, armed with knowledge and ready to guide you on the path to wellness. Now, here's where you come in. Knowledge is power, but sharing that knowledge? That's superpower. So make sure to pass on this information to your friends, family, and anyone who might benefit from it. Let's create a ripple effect of responsible medication use that can make a real difference. And one more thing, don't let over-the-counter meds fool you with their easy accessibility. They're still potent substances that need to be used wisely. Remember, just because you can buy it without a prescription doesn't mean you should take it without a second thought. So let's take a moment to reflect on all this. It's not just about taking medication responsibly, it's about respecting our bodies and respecting the science that goes into keeping us healthy. It's about making a commitment to our well-being and to the well-being of those around us. Be smart, be safe, be responsible. Your health depends on it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Optimal Wellness Channel for more accurate health information. Thank you.